Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 12th to the 18th of April 2021. I hope you're well Aries. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your oracle card for the week. So what do we have for Aries please? Okay, that flew out. Let's just go with it. So I have Heed the, messen Heed the Messengers number 16 it might well be take take heed of some message or advice um there could be some message here that's of significance this week but yeah number 16 for some of you feels uh it's interesting 16 is one and six which makes seven which is a master number which can be divine blessings guidance assistance okay let's see what else we get Aries interesting what do we have for Aries please angels spirits guides new beginnings I have new beginnings for you very nice energy isn't that lovely so some kind of new chapter new beginning opening up for you Aries okay so what do we have for Aries, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Aries. I'm going to pull three cards and then we go deeper into the message by clarifying. And it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you, Aries, at all way, as always. Okay, what do we have for Aries, please? Your cards are flying out, Aries. We have the King of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Six of Wands, Aries. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message. So what do we have for Aries, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Aries, thank you. I have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. The Temperance card clarifies the Ten of Pentacles. And I've got the Knight of Pentacles. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Bottom of the deck, yeah. <laughs> Things are looking up. Might be a little bit of the unexpected this week, Aries, I have to say. Um... But nevertheless, I have to say what I'm getting in this energy, somebody may, somebody of influence in your life, and it feels somebody who has your best interests at heart. Um, they might be giving you heartfelt advice if you are looking to bring greater material success or reward into your life here, Aries. It might well be in this energy, somebody's giving you advice on how to do that. What is good for you and what is not good for you? For example, if they say, it might well be if they don't feel the place that you're working at is right for you and you need to do something about it. There is definitely an energy of hate the messages, but you would have already had that conversation with them. You would know what I'm talking about. Um, it's interesting, but that's what I'm getting. It feels that somebody is giving you advice to point you in a direction that, and it's almost like you need to take heed of the advice. Uh, so that is, because there's something to do with timing here. And that's what I'm getting here. There is something to do with timing here. The King of Cups we have with the eight of pentacles now the eight of pentacles it can be a card of hard work but generally it has more of a material aspect to it for me as a reader and it feels in this energy you might be secretly working towards something it might well be a scorpio for example or somebody who cares about you has been uh advising you you know, where to put your energy and time, you know, because the Eight of Pentacles is somebody who 
works hard, uh, very, very hard, but they understand by doing what they do well, knowing their talent and putting it into a focused, um, you know, to deliver focused uh, results. There's definitely this energy of bringing material gain into your life. Now, some of you might have been training or learning new skills. Some of you might have been getting more qualifications under your belt here to bring more money your way. It might well be that there's just been some advice. Uh, like I said, it could be with, to do with the current job that you've been doing. It could have been to do with what skills that you need to do to order to get more money. You know, it's this kind of energy. You know, someone is giving you some significant advice this week to bring in material gain. Because Spirit is saying if you listen to that advice and put it in the right direction, you know, I mean, this is there is definitely an energy of getting the recognition for it, being noticed. Um, because I'm seeing that with both of these two cards. The Ten of Pentacles is goal achievement, material success, financial success. Now, temperance can sometimes be a card of patience. Um, but it definitely is an energy of how maybe adaptation as well. Adapting, focusing on... It's also a card of it's patience, but also purpose what you're focused on, what you need to do to adapt to get this, you know, more money, greater success, long-term financial security. Um, it's an abundant energy of the Ten of Pentacles. It's a card of wealth. Uh, so yeah, it, it feels there's definitely material gain here. And it feels there's a purpose and somebody's giving you advice on how to achieve that purpose. And I'm definitely seeing that here, which is why you're being told to listen to somebody's advice this week. Because if you do, that is just beautiful. You know, if you absolutely listen to them, you are being aligned to what you need to be. There is definitely an energy of things are looking up. You know, there is definitely an energy of, yeah, I... This is something that I want to give a go to. And it definitely feels like there is some happy news coming your way um, in the form of an offer, an opportunity. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is an offer. Somebody making you an offer can be in terms of a job, a business opportunity, new business. As a, it could be clients, contracts. Um, but it's definitely an energy of change. And it's positive change, the Knight of Pentacles. Germany appears after a result of a lot of hard work. Um, you know, it's almost like you've been planting those seeds, you know, and now you are ready to receive the offer for the work that you've been doing. Uh, and this is a card of positive change and victory, a significant achievement and success. This is also a card of being recognised notice Aries. So it definitely feels that there is some financial significance, financial change coming your way, things looking up. I'm definitely feeling somebody is giving you some advice and it feels quite strongly this card. Heed the message of what you're being given because, you know, I mean, that could be from uh, somebody who, who you have a bond with. It could be professional advice for some of you, but it feels in this energy. Um, you know, the King of Cups can be secretly working towards something as well with this Eight of Pentacles, keeping your cards close to your chest for whatever reason that you need. But it feels that somebody has pointed you in the right direction and it definitely feels there's material gain available to you. So beautiful, beautiful energy, Aries. Definitely somebody, it's resulting in somebody who's going to make you an offer. Yeah. Happy news. So let's um, pull a final card. Final message for Aries, thank you. Yeah, we have Owl Sight. Detach your emotions from situations that you cannot control. And this is about focusing on the things that you can control. Yeah. Where you can bring material gain. I mean, this is a grounded energy. This is the practical, physical things that I can control by this action that I'm taking. So lovely energy. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the reading, Aries. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.